hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm actually going to be doing um, kind of like a wavy look but on my natural hair my hair is not going to be straight and I'm going to be using this set by new me is the curl jam set so it comes with the flat iron and it comes with the curling wand with three different sizes so I'm actually going to be using the smallest size right now but I just washed my hair and um, I wanted to try this Argon Oil of Morocco a three day smooth cream from um, Mark Anthony. So I got it in my Ipsy bag and I'm like, oh, because I'm gonna let my hair air dry. Because I'm putting heat on it, I don't wanna over overdo it and put too much heat on it. Um, so I'm actually gonna let my hair air dry. And I figured because it's air drying, um, it's gonna get frizzy because it's not going to be straight uh, so I wanted to see if this was going to work so I have nothing in my hair right now except for obviously this product right now because it's what I'm putting in it but I wanted to see if this will keep my hair from fri um, frizzing up because I'm gonna let it air dry so it's gonna rub this all throughout my hair and then I'm going to um, put it into two braids because I want it, I don't want my curls in my dry, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna use this hair tie and kind of pull pull it back because I want it to dry stretched. I don't want it to shrink up. So I'm just gonna do two low ponytails. They don't have to be perfect or anything like that. And then I'm just going to braid. Okay, so I thought it was filming when I took my hair out, but it wasn't. But I just used my dimmin brush to um to comb out like the little I guess the little curls that were there, the crimps that were there from the two braids. Um, another reason I didn't blow dry my hair was because I um my hair would have got too straight, and I like it big. So when it's like air dry, it gets bigger. So this is the one that I am using. It's my new Muon. I'm using the smallest one. It also has these two, um, but I'm gonna use the small one. And I'm pretty much gonna leave this middle part and I'm going to divide my hair into two sections because it's easier for me to curl that way. And then I'm just going to start in the back and work my way up. Okay, so I did most of my head, um, and now I'm gonna show you guys basically how I do it. I'm gonna split that into two. So I put the um, wand close to my root, and then I wrap my hair around it, and then I kind of twist the top of the wand and this kind of smooths out um, the curl. I didn't mean to let that one go like that but yeah so let's do it one more time to how it makes it kind of smooth and it takes out like the frizziness basically. So upside down close to the root and then I wrap it and as I'm wrapping I'm kind of twisting the wand with my hand like this so like the curl is inside of it twisting and then I just shake the curl off so let's try again
have it. It's all done. You could leave it like this if you want, but I am not. I'm going to take a little bit of holding spray. Um, some people like to spray the pieces before they wand it, but I'm not a fan of holding spray. This is just um, Tresemme Extra Firm um, Hold, Extra Firm Control. So. kind of soak in for a second and then I'm going to use this um organics argon uh, Moroccan oil no just kidding uh, and just put a little bit in my hand size up I don't know that the size of a nickel and softly rub it through now again you can leave it like this but because my hair is like thin I don't think it really looks it looks right. I'm gonna make sure I give love to my edges. And then I'm going to take my handy dandy pick. And kind of just pull out the roots. There you have it, your nice wand curls on stretched dried, um, not stretched dry, stretched air dried hair. So let me see what the back looks like. And there you go. So thanks, Numi.